Let's go back out to Carl. I wonder if he washed the redness out of his teeth yet. <laughs> He's working oh. on it. I tried. Uh, I don't know how I'm looking at it. Yeah, I think we got it mostly. Better. I have no idea whether it's uh, still bloody teeth or not. But uh, in the in, we're going straight from making blood to making burnt chicken, which is definitely huh? one of my skills. <laughs> um, with Lisa again out here. Now this isn't for Violet, the production they have at the Skylight Music Theater right now. But you guys are always kind of preparing for the next show as right, well. Right. Absolutely. We've started to build our. Uh, show that opens in November, La Cage Fo. And for Act Two, uh, we have a failed dinner party. <laughs> so we have a plate of burnt chicken that we need to make. We often start with research. You could just come to my house if you wanted. Didn't <laughs> so, you all this off? <laughs> so we start with research, and then we go quickly to the sketch uh, for size. This needs to fit on a platter. We need both views. Uh, we, we're going to make this out of foam. So we take our sketch and we cut it out and we usually use a bandsaw to rough things in. So we get a side view and a top view. So the side view maybe will go first, right? This is like a puzzle right? piece almost. Exactly. And then we do the top view. So that roughs in. And after that we begin to carve the actual shape. And we get oh, wow. something like this, right? That's incredible. Yeah. <laughs> So to carve it, we actually use a series of carving tools. Right. This is a sure form rasp. You can see how quickly the foam okay, comes so, off. So the goal is to look like that, right? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> so you can see it takes a little yep. time, right? We'll put some hours into so this. So once we get that stage accomplished, we coat this with a, you can coat it with a variety of different things. We use a, a thickening texture underneath to cover the texture of the actual foam. Hmm. Once that's coated with our uh, latex coating, uh, we need a skin tissue um, uh, that, that is texture. sort of, yeah, exactly, very, uh, well, skin-like. Yeah. And we use a flexible urethane glue and onion skin tracing paper All to right. make that. And then um, finish it up with yep. the paint over here? We do a series of uh, paint techniques, uh, usually glazes and layers of paint. And then we end up with... Ah, the final reveal. Right. Oh, man, that is right. impressive. With our burnt chicken, our garnishes are uh, ready to be burned, ready to yep. go on, exactly. <laughs> And uh, there we have it, burnt that chicken. almost looks edible, right? Yeah, I mean, that is pretty does. darn impressive. And how? that's how it was made, all from foam and huh. saws and paint and, and wax paper and stuff like that. Yeah, impressive. impressive. Thank that you is, very how much. How does she very know well. all of that? Is there a school for this? They're wondering how you know all this. How did you? Uh... <laughs> I've been working in props for 35 years. Well, that's oh, how. That's there you go. Fascinating. That is impressive. She is awesome. good at what she does, yeah. that is for sure. All right. Thank you. Huh.